Hi, uh, my name is Camila Carr. Um, I'm a technical evangelist here based in New York. Um, myself and Rebecca are both technical evangelists, so basically our roles here are a uh, direct line to um, KX. So if you have any issues, uh, queries, questions of the technology, please um, let us know. Um, and also it goes the other way. So um, any updates that we have with the technology, um, I know we've talked to some of you guys about developer um, and analyst the new IDEs that we've um, released in April. And also we'll be touching base with you uh, about the release of 3.0. Should you use embed pi over pi q? 
it's your personal choice. Um, if you're more comfortable with uh, Q, you should go for a bit of Pi, and vice versa. If you're a Python developer, um, you should go with PyQ, and then you can take in your uh, KDB tables into um, your Python process. What we've seen in the community is that if your um, downstream work would be more primarily in um, PyQ, so um, you have your data in KDB and you're happy enough with your data and you just want to apply a Python module or a model, a machine learning model, and you don't, you just need it in Python, um, most people use PyQ. Embed Py would be if you want to manipulate your data in um, KDB and you then just apply your um, mod or your machine learning model there. So basically where it makes sense. So um, here is your data, the sum, um, and if you want to stay within your data um, and it's KDB, you should use uh, embed pi. And if not, if you just want to serve it up, you, um, you can use PyQ. So I'm going to jump into just to show you how it uh, looks like. So here are two um, Jupyter notebooks. So here's the embed pi um, and here's pi q. So um, I'm just going to compare how you would load in the um, a Python script into Q comparing in Python or pi q uh, importing into um, a KDB script into PyQ. So um, on your embed Py side, it's quite easy just um, loading a KDB script into it. Um, but you have to change your uh, file extension. So usually your Python um, files would be .py, um, but you just load it in .p. Um, and then on the other side, you have to um, import the module Q. First of all, to um, be able to run Q, and then you um, use the system command to load it in. So it looks okay. Um, so in my Python script, I have a Python function called sign. Um, so I can easily get that um, using this. Um, in the background, what it looks like is just an embed by object which is like your middleman, so it's not a Python object and it's not a Q object. Um, so here is when, if, you, if I wanted to retrieve it back to um, Q, the results, so you can see that this is positive. Um, and just to check that it's a Q object, you can see that this it's a string. Um, on the other side, I have um, I have a function called sign2 um, in the KDB um, script um, and I can call it using this. Um, so the one major um, difference that I've seen is that with PyQ you always have to get your retrieve your results in Py, uh, Python. Um, with embed Py you have the option. So here I call the function and it's a embed Pi object. So um, I can put it into uh, Python and print it. Um, so you can see it's negative. Um, if I take out this print, it looks like a foreign object. So um, it's in Python. Um, so that's that. Then uh, converting, a lot of people have been asking um, how to convert KDB tables into Python, uh, Pandas data frame and vice versa. So um, last week we uh, released um, a new ML toolkit or a new release of the ML toolkit and one of the changes that uh, occurred there was um, with the df to tab functionality so you can um, easily uh, convert uh, types or time types um, here to a pandas data frame. So I've just um, so this is my table, so you can see I have um, times here, um, and if I use the, so I'm converting a Q table to a data frame, um, 
you can see here that it's quite easily done. And I can do a, I can revert it back then to from a Python data frame to a KDB using the deactive tab, and it should come back the same. Um, then on the other side, I've done exactly the same thing. Um, so here is I can jump into Q here, and um, with this, it's a magic um, command in. Um, it's a magic command in Jupyter Q, uh, or not Jupyter Q, IQ. It's so confused. Um, so here's my table. This is what it looks like. Um, I can easily, so with IQ, you can uh, easily convert the um, data frame to an um, array. So I've imported it here. So this is what it looks like. Um, and then once I have that, I can um, easily convert the um, numpy arrays to a pandas data frame. And so you can see here, that's what it would look like. It's a pandas data frame. Um, and then vice versa. So um, I've imported uh, pandas again, and I've called um, this my small uh, data frame. And what I've done here is I have um, made it a dictionary first. So I've taken out the columns and the values um, and transposed it. And then this is the flip. So this is flip in Q. Um, uh, so I can convert it to a um, KDB table. Um, and then another thing is IPC with um, PyQ. So that was one of my questions. I knew that if you could do IPC with embed Py, but I wasn't sure if you could do the same thing with um, PyQ. So um, basically, I have created a Q um, port listing on this port here. Um, and then I can easily um, listen to it. Here. Um, then another thing to note would be in PyQ is that if you um, go into Q, uh, into your Q prompt, um, and then listen to a specific port, um, and then open another Q process, uh, you can't actually listen to that Q process in PyQ. Um, it is a known issue. Um, for us, it's the um, Python wrapper or some kind of um, thing in Python, um, but hopefully we'll be working on it, that and we'll be able to do that. So if you're using like uh, Q uh, and you want to use IPC and if you want to feed your models or your Python mod models into um, a tick, uh, a tick um, plant, you can do it easily using embedded Py, but if, uh, and you can't do that in IQ. The contacts, so if you have any issues, um, please contact myself or Rebecca. Um, or the machine learning team. Um, these are all free on GitHub, and I can share these. Are, this is the, the GitHub um, link. Thanks very much for listening, and um, have a nice night.